Welcome back to our holiday. Good morning from Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury, it's a lovely sunny day, but it's a cold start to the day. Nippy. I wish I'd have put a hat on and a new waistcoat. <laughs> oh, I did, I did, I did. What do you think of my new look? Don't I look yeah, I incredible? Don't you look so handsome? Proper little get up, innit? So cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling quite dapper today. You look dapper, darling. Dapper Dan. <laughs> Uh, no plans today. No. We've got a video up for tonight, so we can relax. We're in no rush to get one out at yeah. Maid today. Yeah, bear in mind, there's still lots to film, but... There's lots to do and see. It's just, I don't know, I'm getting tired. It's, it's, it's walking, isn't it? Yesterday we did nearly 12,000 steps. The day before was 10,000 or something, and the day before that was about eight, seven or eight. It's so you're lot. looking at three miles... Three miles and five miles in the last three days, something like that. It's a lot, lot of miles. To, yeah, it's not a lot to some people, but... It is to us. Uh, getting home yesterday, I was this close to getting... Well, we were trying to get a cab, actually. Had to walk, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. So... Now, back again, we'll just take it easy, see what happens. Yeah. We'll come back to Mazzy. She's seen something. Yeah, a big sort of wardrobe chest thing. Louis Vuitton, I think. Whether it's real or fake, I don't know. Louis Vuitton, I've heard Vuitton. of him. It's, it's beautiful, isn't it? It looks real. So it's a wardrobe in there, drawers there. It's like a massive suitcase. That would make a nice little um, wardrobe for kids, little kids' clothes. Is that what it? it is, though, or are you meant to travel with that? Well, back in the day, you would have travelled with it, mm. but yeah. <laughs> I'm more interested in the outside of the shop. It's got all this uh, artificial grass all over it. Callahan. Very nice. Opposite a lovely church, I think that's called St Mary's. I don't know, we're just walking around, we're not really in the mood for going in anywhere. Just enjoying the day, it is a lovely day, there's a it lot of people out. Yes. It's Friday, I should imagine it's going to be heaving tomorrow yeah. on Saturday. Oh, yeah, that church is really nice. Look at the side of it, Mazda. Yeah, where's it called St Mary's? With the bell over there and these. Yeah, St Mary's, I think. Yeah, we've not been in this part of Shrewsbury yet. No, it's lovely. Um, St Alkman's Church, uh, founded in 912. This is the one we were talking about with the devil story, Mazzy. What, this church? This church right here, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the devil climbed up to the top of there and he's oh, yeah. got his, his claw marks on the bell. But it's two lovely, lovely buildings here. This is Prince Rupert Hotel, very nice. And Mazzy was just saying she thinks this is supposedly the oldest yes, pub. Yes, yes. Where the UK truck here, I don't know, but... <laughs> it's, it's probably well just it's in clean, Shrewsbury. Yeah, probably. The loggerheads. It looks good, doesn't it? It does look quite nice, yeah. Uh, there it is. 1665. First recorded as a public house in the year of 1780. Okay, so it must just be uh, in Shrewsbury, Mazzy. Oh, you reckon? Must be. Let's just take a look around the corner. Okay. Yeah, we're trying to look for little streets we haven't been down yet. Yes. Because we might leave town tomorrow now, do you think? Do something a bit different? Leave town? Well, yeah, I mean, leave, don't go into town. Oh, yeah, we might just stay in bed. That's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> I don't mean that. That is nice, isn't it? Where's this big bell then? Well, this is you St. Alkman's Church. Very quiet around here. You know, you're on the main road and the car's whizzing past it. Does your head in, but come into these little... Snickety bits. Snickety bits, yeah. Oh, there's the toilets there, Mazzy. Oh, that's the one I used the other day. And this is where the teddy ah, bear steps are. Yeah, this is where we're heading for in yeah. this direction. We were so exhausted at this point, so we never did it, did we? No. Should we go down there? Do um, you want to, or do you want to go back up I here? I think up there for yeah. now. Let's go down Yeah, we side. could always go back down there. Oh, OK, yeah. Definitely got to go in there later on, Mazzy. Yeah. Buy one beer for the price of two and receive a second absolutely free. Look at this thing, look. Pay the barman if you try and hide from the wife, look. 
Oh, Heidi. I thought it said honk. No, but if you're hiding from the wife. Hiding from the wife. Give him a five alert and it will say he never heard of you. <laughs> yeah, I've seen them before. <laughs> That's good. And apparently it's haunted. I've seen something, Mazzy. It's really interesting. What? In this window here. Look at this. I'm, I really, really want to look into that. What is it? I can't wait to see up there. Um, they offer diamond grading. So if we have any diamonds ever, we can get them graded in there. Free of charge. I think that's a really good service, don't you? Yeah, but Come on, let's go. Yeah, but... We found a bridge. Yes. The place just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> Oh, and you look over there, there's, I don't know if it's a school and a couple more churches, it just goes on and on and on and on. And here, yes. there's a stone. This stone was marking the boundary of the two parishes. The parish of Holy Cross and St Giles, and the parish of St Julian Shrewsbury. I think it used to be in the middle of the bridge before, I don't, I don't know. It's just a stone. Big deal. I don't know what these are either. Even yeah, the like coffins, Mazzy, and they've got little handles on them. What would they be used for? Somebody tell us. So just like Stratford upon Avon, where are we now? Shrewsbury has Shrewsbury. also got a beautiful building above a Costa Coffee. For some reason, Costa Coffee are buying all these amazing buildings, Mazzy. You can imagine it being in the film. Scrooge, can't you? Yes. These kind of buildings. Oh, it might have been. Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking. Look at it. A lot of them have been in Scrooge, these buildings. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing that one will have been one of them because it's. When it you is look one at of it the from. Fantastic when you look at it from down there, it's really crooked. You can't really see it from here, but very nice. So, one thing I was told to look out for here, I'm looking at it now. We've been looking. We got told to look above Waterstones and the buildings near it. Which must mean these. There's you're not going to see them through here. I might be able to zoom in for you, but there's one, two, like four men up there, and apparently they're past prime ministers. Wooden, wooden carvings in the walls there, at the top. And then you've got tiny little uh, statues up there. I don't know what they're of. So we're supposed to be leaving here on Tuesday. But the next place I wanted to go to wasn't available until Friday. And then I looked into it and there's a country show here next Sunday, right? So I said to Mazzy, you know, I can't really find anywhere else suitable to stay. Shall we just stay here and go to this show? It's only £15 in, it's a proper uh, county, country show, agricultural show. <laughs> and I've never been to one properly and I thought that would be a brilliant yes. a brilliant vlog. Yeah, we planned it, we thought, oh yeah, that would be really good. Yeah, so yeah. you were well up for that, weren't yeah. you? Because you like Excited, it here. Excited, yeah. So, booked for another five days. And then about five minutes after booking it, I realised the show isn't on till no. May. I wanted to then go online and look into this show myself. And I said, hold on, I'm not seeing the show. Where's the show? And you realised it wasn't till May. It is on Saturday, but it's... Not this Saturday or not... next Saturday. No, <laughs> it's a Saturday in a couple of months' time. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I've paid for it. We're here for another five days. We don't mind because we do like we it here. We love it here. That is one thing I have to say. It is so nice here. This is our kind of place. Yeah, it's really nice. It hasn't got that campsite -y rigmarole feel has it no, but it's no. nice so yeah there is no county show so please no. don't all be booking for the county show this weekend it isn't on um and we have no problem staying here a bit longer i just thought we can Absolutely get some videos no. for you in the yeah. meantime um this morning yes it's sunday Cut. what what happens on sundays mazzy well obvious isn't it you bacon butter what you go to a car boot sale on a Sunday. Car boot sale. Now, we haven't had to travel for a car boot sale because the car boot sale is here. Here in the show, it's yes. It's here. It's on the next field. Yeah. So, we've just been to a car boot sale. We got some right bargains, didn't we, Mazzy? Got some bargains. Mazzy got some sunglasses. I got some sunglasses. 50p. 50p, which I love. I uh, got some boots, which I love. But unfortunately, they they're, they're a size six, and I'm a four and a five. 
So they're too big, but they will go to a charity shop. They're only 50p. They're only they? 50p, yes. And then just like a, a an body old, spray. An old body spray. Can't, I just can't seem to get my hands on this anymore. Yardly lace. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I love it. Reminds me of when I was young. <laughs> and I got a, a bag. Well, wore it a bargain. Yeah. I, won't, I wouldn't say it wore a bargain, but I got something I need. I said I need to start looking out for... Well, I need to look out for one of them big things, what women lay in, and I, you saw them in half. Oh, yeah, I'm that's looking what for one you of them. set off wanting to buy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But I also said I need to build up my toolbox collection because yeah. I haven't got tools. And I've started my collection. Look what I've got. I've got a Stanley straight-headed screwdriver. Flathead. You, you never had one, did you? Only those little bits that you keep putting in and out. I've, and... Got, a, I've got a cross head. I haven't got a flat head. And to mm. make a flat head, I've got to get an handle, put something on it, put a little bit on it. Yeah, they're not as good. Out. And so, probably Stanley as well. So all, 50 our, pence. all our items today were 50p. We spent two quid. <laughs> Bargain. <laughs> So now we're off into yeah, town, yeah? now we're going to head off into town. It's a beautiful day, a bit on the nippy side at the moment. I'm sure it's going to warm up, but it's, it, is. it is really nice, isn't it? It's mm. supposed to be sunny all week. Oh, OK, you said that the other day and it's still... Well, it's been sunny, It's but, just cold, cold yeah, wind. Yeah, it was cold yesterday, wasn't it? A bit chilly. So what is our plans today? Uh, just going to town, see what's what. Um, yeah. We still have the museum to do, but whether we do that today, I don't know. Probably yeah. not. Uh, I don't know. Let's just see yeah, what happens. Yeah, it's nice not having a plan as such, isn't it? Let's just go and enjoy ourselves, yeah? Are we taking this lot with us? Oh, go on. Go on then, get in our handbag. I also got two new ties the other day. What do you think of these two? I thought they were very 70s. I like them. I, I particularly like that. The colour's not coming out very well on that, but uh, yeah, just a couple of 70s-ish ties. Not wearing them today. I'm not going for me look today. Just a shirt, a jumper on because it's still chilly, and a uh, flat cap. I did, oh, I got this the other day as well, another flat cap. Granddad one. A granddad one. What did I pay? I don't know. Four. About four, four pound. Four pound, yeah. And a pound each. I thought for a pound each, that is a bargain because that's a lovely tie. Shrewsbury Castle. It is closed. <laughs> it is closed. I think that would have been really nice. I think it were about, I can't remember if it was five or seven pound each to go oh, in. No, I thought you said 15. Did you say 15? Not or in was here. That, prison? that was the prison. Oh. Um, Yes. Unfortunately, it's a Sunday, so everything's going to be shut today. Yeah, you'd, you'd expect something like this to be open, but it is quite yeah. early. It's only about 10 o'clock. It might be opening yet. Yeah. Uh, there is a couple of... I like the colour of it. Yeah, that's nice. I don't know any history about it, but there is a couple of cool guns around the corner. Yeah, do you think they're real? Um, quite possibly. They look real, don't they? Right, there's a sign there, Mazzy, saying please don't climb on the guns, so... Oh, can you see it now? Please like don't climb on the guns. Where does it say that? Behind you and above. Oh. <laughs> oh, this was used in training in Oswestry, which is the town I was trying to get us into, Mazzy. Yeah. And I can't... <laughs> there's no campsites within walking was distance. Was to go there, is No, it? I, I picked up a leaflet and it looked good. Oh. Nice. Uh, it doesn't look anything exciting. It looks quite modern to me. Yeah. And that's only been used in training, so that doesn't interest me. I bet this has only been used in training. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, this was used in the Second World War. Here we go. Fill your boots. Now it's got some dark history to it, knowing it has actually been used, hasn't it? What's that behind? Is that a castle? A uh, church? No, that's a uh, council, the town hall, the council place. 
Yeah. Right, it looks like we're going back into town. It is Sunday, so everything's probably going to be closed. Yeah, unfortunately. Where's the prison then? It's meant to be back here, The prison isn't it? is behind the railway station. Oh, we always keep missing it, don't it's we? It's behind this castle somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we did look into going there. We thought it might be a good video, but I think it was £15 each. For the day, for your own self-tour, yeah. Um, it's a lot of it's, money, it's isn't it? It's quite a lot of money. It do look good, if I'm honest. It looked all right. Can we justify 15 quid each? For 15 it's... quid, you want a really good event, and I don't think that's good enough. Uh, I'd rather personally. a meal out. <laughs> <laughs> so is it a church or is it a bistro bar and hotel or is it both it's a boutique a boutique hotel darling I've never seen anything like yeah i don't know i don't know if it's just a, now a bar and hotel which used to be a church definitely still looks churchy look at that Right, Mazzy. Big boys toys. <laughs> I want one of them, and I want one of them. Oh, and I'll have one of them. And I definitely want one of these boats. I won't mind one of them cars either. And look at that for a warship. I'll have one of them. I'll have two of them. I'll, oh, a tank, I'll have that. Another tank. Oh, they get a bit. Look at these big boxes at the bottom, Mazzy. I'll have them. Oh, I think I've had one of them before. We're looking at uh, holidays now. <gasps> Corfu, look, look. Two weeks. Self catering, which is absolutely brilliant. 246 quid. Yeah. I've seen this look, King of All Tours, Elvis, Memphis, New Orleans, National Mail, 1500. That'd be a good one, wouldn't it? Yeah. The one which is really grabbing me is Halkidiki. I don't know where Halkidiki is, but for £379, I'm interested. You fancy that? A couple of weeks in Halkidiki. How much? Uh, 300, How much? £370. Oh, let's stick to Shrewsbury. <laughs> A back alley. Yeah, we've come down a little area. Again, another place we've still not been to. Uh, this one, this street is called Fish, Fish, Fish Street. street. <laughs> Which I wanted to come down and just have a look. It's a weird name. And this is quite cool. Now, this particular area, Mazzy calls the Teddy, teddy bear, bear Steps. steps. I don't know why, but now I realise they are actually called Bear Steps. Bear Steps Art Gallery. So if something's drilled into your head as you've yes, been walking around. Yes, yes. But that's a lovely, lovely balcony there. Yeah, these are the Teddy Bear Steps. Oh, they're the steps? Yeah. Oh, we'll go up there in a minute then. I don't really know what it's about. But we have to go down here, Mazzy, because I've got a story. Yeah. Grope Street. Grope Lane. Tiny. Yeah, it's cute though, look at it. No, let me tell my story now. Um, apparently this is the red light district of the Victorian times. Yeah. Mm. So, because apparently back then they would name a street of, after a particular, like like down here would have been like maybe ladies fishing and stuff. You know, yeah, ladies killing, fishing in the centre of Shrewsbury. You know, selling fish or so to say. And that's what they used to name the streets after, so what used to happen and apparently then the girls were down here, so they, and obviously they a lot of them got attacked, so they called it Grope Lane. Grope Lane. Yeah. We have to go down here. So narrow. Just been telling you the history. Mazzy's just told me she's been here before. No. That's what you no. said. No, because of the Harry Potter shop. <laughs> I'm sure we walked past this. We did the Harry Potter shop because I did say I might get a wand in there. Yeah, so we walked up here not realising. Yeah. No, I haven't worked up here before. <laughs> yeah, it is nice. Can you imagine though, if there were a bedroom here and a bedroom there, you'd be yeah. sleeping about five foot away from someone else who's snoring. Thin yeah. windows. <laughs> you'd hear everything going on, wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, this is like the back door to the Costa Coffee. So do you remember we're at the front and you said, yes. oh, they get all the nice buildings. So yeah, the front of this is beautiful. It's all nice. It's all nice. Anyway, we want to go up them steps, don't we, at the top? Yeah, shall we? Let's go have a look. So this is the bare steps. It actually tells you up there, but it doesn't lead to anything. I thought there was going to be something exciting up here, but all it is is the toilet. Not exhibition. <laughs> Do you want to come in? No. no. I'm not in an arty mood today, Mazzy. I'll be honest. 
Yeah, we were here the other day and we says, oh, we'll have to go down there because it looked really cute. Yeah, going up Fish Lane, there is quite a few things talking about. You've got a fish, what's this place? The Three, three Fishes fishes. pub, the original smoke-free public house. Uh, Tudor house, very nice, very nice. And down there I did see something called Fish Something Restaurant. Who's that? Yeah. The Reverend John Wesley. Yeah, who is it? Well, I used to go to Wesley Church. Yeah. Um, it's a Wesleyan church. It's a kind of following the Wesleyans. Oh, OK. Uh, and the Reverend went in this house. The founder of Methodism preached in this house on his first visit to Shrewsbury. March the 16th, 1761. Isn't that... Isn't it the 16th today? Oh, no, it's the 20th. No, it's, it's the, the 20th. 20th. But you can hire this out for a night. Yeah? Well, a few nights, but on a nightly basis. It's got a lovely range going on it there. Has, it has, hasn't it? Yeah. It's even called Number One Wesley House. Perfect little spot as well, because it's dead sort of centre in the town, it isn't is. it? It is, it is. What's down here? Like another little lane we ain't been down. Should we go down there? Let's try to do some new stuff today. See where it goes. Come on, then. <laughs> Any lads out there who are thinking of coming to Shrewsbury? Uh, Brothel Lane, it's just behind the church. Now that's freaky. See, why? Because this was in the park the other day. Yeah. Um, no, I'm trying. Well, it's here now. Oh! They've dug it up and put it on the wall. Did you do yeah. some kind of magic? Magic, trick. magic trick. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if I recognise any of them. This one's in nicer condition, isn't it? You can see like the glazy bits that they've done. Yeah, it's lovely. So that particular part is called Bank Passage. Do you know why, Mazzy? So do you have dealings going on up there, exchanging of money? No. 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 Why? It's because if you come down this passage. Yeah. It leads down to the West Brom Bank. Quite an handy little shortcut. <laughs> Lads, if you're not sure which church I'm on about, don't worry, I'll show you it from front as well. That's Brothel Alley there. Uh, it's Costa there. Jonesy's bootmaker's there. Waterstones. If you find Waterstones, just go around the corner. That's where all women hang out at night. <laughs> uh, we've just worked out. Thank you again to... I can't remember the couple's name, someone and Joe, uh, for telling us some facts about yes. this place. Yeah. We were looking for a calculator the other day. And um, you pointed something out, and I said to you, I think, well, it might have been off camera, I don't know, but I kept saying to you, that's got to be it. I thought it was an air brick. No, it wouldn't, you wouldn't need an air brick on there. Not only that, you ain't got the air coming through on the other side. No. So <laughs> let's go explain exactly what it is. So back at the market hall, I did say they traded down here and they traded drape up, drapers up at the top and I saw this. Now, apparently it is for counting the amount of wool they sold when they were trading. Well, supposedly, Something yes. like Something that. Something like that. So it's not technically the first calculator. It's not the first calculator. Or the oldest calculator. But it is like some kind of abacus or counting some machine. Some kind of tally where they tally up whatever's being sold, I suppose. It doesn't look anything in, uh, impressive. Well, there should be a plaque up. If it is something historic, they should tell us about it. I knew it was. Right, let's wear now. I know. <laughs> Another little passage. Gullet passage. Do you know why it's called Gullet passage, Mazzy? Because it leads you down to the hole in the wall, which is the pub, and they want you to get that down your gullet. Correct. <laughs> get them pints down your neck. <laughs> so, yeah, this is where we were in there and we said there was a pub at the back. Yes. Um, and they joined on to, into one now. And this well, little let's go down and have a look at the back, back bit because there seems to be a few more things down here. We have still got the museum to do. We're going to save that for another day, I think. It's a free museum, so that'll be yeah. interesting. Yeah. Apparently you can film in there as well, so... Oh, that's good. Well, they don't mind you taking pictures anyway. <laughs> I'm just showing Mazzy because apparently I cut her head off. I've got you to cut someone's head off, Mazzy. cut my head off. It's, uh, technically, it's not always your fault because... It's not my the, fault, it's the camera. The picture comes up smaller, I think, than what you can see. I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, I did say there was a market we were going to go to on Saturday. Yeah. I got my dates wrong on that as well. Yes, yeah, so you're not doing very well, are you? That's on the first, there's one on the first of the first Saturday of every month and the second Saturday every month. And we're only here for the third and the fourth Saturdays of the month. <laughs> House prices? Yes, we haven't checked them out yet in here, have we, Shrewsby? Um, seem to be quite varied, really. 185,000 for a bungalow. A church, 300,000. <laughs> um, what did I see? Oh, one up here, that's pretty average as a house. 315,000 pounds. But there's a lot at about half a million, isn't there, Mazzy? Like this one. And this one up here. See, I think this is quite a lot for this. Four. A it's a three-storey house, but they're so ugly, aren't they? It doesn't even look nice. It's got a very nice uh, balcony on I the roof. I imagine that's really narrow, because that's the way they make yeah. the townhouses, isn't it? But they do have some lovely properties here, don't they? It would be nice to live here, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Can we? Well, we can live on that campsite yeah. for another week. <laughs> a very nice pub. <laughs> Albert and Co. Fine Earls. Albert's Shed. It's brilliant, isn't it? Picture of Albert's from uh, what's the program, Mazzy? Um, Steptoe. Steptoe and Son. Yeah. Lovely uh, entrance, but uh, it's shut. That's a shame. To me, it looks like a really heavy. It's got character. Party house, doesn't it? I yeah, bet there's that gets a lot, lively. a lot of events on here. Yeah. So a lot of bands on. Oh, I was hoping it was going to be the yard round the back here, look. <laughs> can you get excited? I can, I can. It's the first ever brick house in Shrewsbury. Woohoo! Oh, you really excited. <laughs> um, Rowley's house and mansion. William Rowley. Made a lot of money as a draper in 1618. Became prosperous and he built the attached mansion and the first brick house in the town. So the house itself is empty, I can see there's nothing in there at all, but it looks quite cool. But this is beautiful, it's all been renovated. And that's the other side of his brick mansion. It's lovely, isn't it? I'd love to go exploring inside it, Mazzy, because it's empty. Yeah, but doesn't it sound like there's an old man shouting and moaning in there? No. Or is it a pigeon? It's definitely a pigeon up there, I can hear him cooing. <laughs> She wants a karate lesson. But Mr Miyagi, look. It's not Mr Miyagi, he's probably called Eric Smith. <laughs> he's English. It's oh. good, you don't even need a membership. I used to actually go to karate when I was little, I did, until it came to having to buy the outfit and me mum said no, so we got kicked out. <laughs> Little story for you. <laughs> <laughs> You've definitely got a vlog there, I reckon, so we're going to call it yeah. a do here. Yeah. Um, Dandini, the magician. I'm a few people. You. I'm going to have to stand back here. A few people. <laughs> you need to stand in front of me, that's oh, why. Oh, no, Oh, no, I need no, to hold it. No, yeah. Dandini. A lot of people are, seem to be liking Dandini's magic. Um, would yeah. you like a dandy? What? You love it, don't you? I don't mind the magic, not the pranks. That really did scare me. I nearly felt like I was having a heart attack all day. Would you like to see a video just dedicated to Dandini? Half hour of Dandini magic tricks. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, we don't want to bore you if you don't. Yeah, if you don't, just be honest. Yeah. Just tell us in the comments, please. Right, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, can we just show him this first, though, on the corner of this house? Oh, yes. This is good. It's like a big upside down crocodile. It's not a crocodile. Uh, whatever it is. Oh, it's a dragon, isn't it? Yeah. It's actually an optician's now, but look at the beautiful building. Really nice. Look at that. How unusual. I'd love to know the story behind that, Mazzy. Yeah. Right, say goodbye to everyone. Goodbye, everybody.